Right. I want to show Americans why they should care about Taiwan. And I think that all you have to do is look at the fact that what are the 24 million people in Taiwan experiencing every single day? Uh, Chris Buckley from the New York Times. Uh, you mentioned another Times, including your speech early in the week about... Yes. Yes. Uh, um, <clears throat> the Democratic Party has revealed to include Taiwan and six to say. Former Vice President Mike Pence has just published an op-ed on Washington Post. He's been warning that there is an issue emerging within the Republican Party, and he's calling on the party to stand with Taiwan. The strengthening alliances and support for Ukraine and Taiwan. Um, and endorsing Donald Trump for president, uh, he seems to have maybe different views. It is amazing to me that an organization like the UN, who prides itself on human rights, is willing to act like 24 million Taiwanese don't even exist. It's hypocritical. If they can go and acknowledge that Palestinians deserve observer status, it does make you question why is it that they hold out and refuse to acknowledge that Taiwan exists. If you thought what happened with Russia and Ukraine shook the world, just imagine what would happen if China moved in on Taiwan. You would have 10% of global GDP affected. That's $10 trillion that would shake every single economy. To put that into perspective, the Russia-Ukraine crisis was only $1.5 trillion. So you're looking at almost 10 times the effect that we would have if that should happen. I would love to see them as a full member. I just know that the UN is... Uh, a farce. The UN is, you know, they like to say that they are a, um, that they have moral clarity and they lack that in a strong way. I think Taiwan deserves full status at the UN, but I think the least we should get is observer status. That's the main thing is think about the hypocrisy that the United Nations fights every day for what they claim is human rights, yet you're going to act like 24 million people don't exist? 